Prime Minister Narendra Modi has a rather tight rope to walk. On the one hand, he will have to satisfy the state governments by extending the nationwide lockdown. But at the same time, expand exemptions to the lockdown so as to keep the economy afloat. Reports indicate that the government could divide the country into three separate zones. Red zone, orange zone and green zones. Based on the intensity of the outbreak in those particular areas, there will be a complete lockdown in all the red zones. These are districts with a sizable number of cases and also the ones that have already been declared at hot spots uh, that, are, that have already been declared as hot spots by the government. Red zones will be sealed and no non-essential movement will be permitted inside the red zones. The orange zones are likely to be districts that initially reported a cluster of cases but have since flattened the curve of this disease. The likes of Bhilwada in Rajasthan state could feature on this list. There will be a limited lockdown in orange zones with partial operation of public transport allowed as well. But most crucially, agriculture harvest will go ahead as planned in these orange zones. This will come as a huge relief to farmers living in these districts. Green zones are districts with zero COVID-19 cases so far. These districts could see minimum curbs, mostly in the form of strict social distancing norms. The state of Haryana has already moved ahead with this plan. Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar has said that four districts, Faridabad, Palwal, Nu and Gurgaon, will be declared as high-risk red zones in the extended lockdown period. During the video conference on Saturday, many chief ministers reportedly suggesting, suggested adding more industries and services to the exempted list. Reopening of liquor shops was a major demand. As we know, liquor sales form a sizable portion of government revenue in most states. Micro, small and medium enterprises in the green zones could also be reopened after the 14th of April. Now, states also called for restarting farm activities in green and orange zones. Interestingly, transport services could also start operating at partial capacity. Reports indicate that metros, trains and domestic flights could function at 30% capacity in low-risk areas. At this point in time, we also need to help those that are worst affected in the world. And I think the Prime Minister has done well to assure the other countries that we will help.